Hey everybody, Catherine Hart here of Heart and Soul Studio. I am going to give you one of my favorite acting tips today. Today's training video is going to be on comedy. I love comedy, don't you? <laughs> At any rate, it's one of my very favorite things. It's one of my fortes. Uh, people come to me all the time to pay me to put in their comic shtick. That's comic business. Uh, I love doing that kind of stuff. And in fact, I have a comedy class tonight. So sometimes you should come on down and come in person because we're really silly. And <laughs> you learn a lot, but we have a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, so if I could just reach through your computer and mess with you and mess up your hair or something right now, I would. So you you probably should stay behind your computer instead because I will mess with you if you come in person. <laughs> anyway. Here are some very quick tips on comedy. Now, I can't give you everything there is in the world about comedy in one little short snippet here, but I can give you a whole bunch that are going to make a huge difference in whether you're funny or not. First thing I always work with people on when they come to me to do comedy is making sure they're natural and real and spontaneous and that they can create their reality and they really have a character and they're playing and connected to me just like you have to do when you're not doing comedy, when you're doing natural film and stuff. You have to be real and natural or you're not really funny. So that's where we start. Then once I see, see that you're going to be like, you know, probably a real person up here, then and only then do I start adding comedy. And the first tip that I usually like to give you is comedy is almost always in very clean beats. There are, you know, certain kinds of comedies that you can do other things with, but usually it's in clean beats. By that I mean, <clears throat> and this is how I teach my commercial classes too, by the way, you make a face, shut up when you do that, and then you say your line. I do something, and then I say my line. I have a little beat, and then I say my line. So, natural would look like this. Uh, what are you talking about? And why did you even say that? And comedy would look like this. Uh, what are you talking about? And why did you even say that? So notice, I'm going to slow it down so you can see that I'm putting these little quiet moments in that are kind of popped, okay? So instead of why did you say that? And, you know, uh, what did you say? And why did you say that? Or whatever the heck I just said. <laughs> You, instead of doing that, you're going to say, you're going to take a little beat, beat, what did you say? Another little beat. See that? I kind of go, and why did you say that? So, when you speed it up, it's, what'd you say? And why did you say that? All right, so I'm actually putting these very clean beats in. I'm not doing, what did you say? And why did you say that? I'm not putting it all together. I'm putting tiny little clean beats of, Face, talk, face, talk. That is, will do you pretty well in anything you ever do the rest of your life for comedy. All right, and also it helps with commercials too. Okay, now the next thing, and this is kind of obvious, but honestly, I have got to tell people to do this all the time. When you're making a funny face, please make it towards the audience. Don't do, huh, do, huh? Make it to the audience so we can see what your funny face looks like or you won't get your laugh. Also, comedy has a real nice little pop and rhythm and energy to it. So, you need to get your energy up before you do comedy. Oh, Boo's coming over here, my, my standard poodle, for those of you who have not watched my videos. I have a big, fluffy, white standard poodle and also a red one who's asleep on the couch over there, being very unfunny. But anyway, he likes it when I jump around. So he's over here jumping around with me. <laughs> anyway, you got to get your energy up. Jump, jump, jump. Get your energy going so that you have adrenaline and blood flowing through your body. Like you'd warm up if you're going to do an athletic event. Hoo, hoo. Because then my juices start flowing. My imagination kicks in. I start having fun. And I am ready with my, my, my comedy energy. Otherwise, I can't do comedy from here. Hey. What is it? I'm going to be funny. No, I got to get myself into a good mood. Like I'm going to the party and I'm not the first person there and they say, why don't you get up and dance? No, I'm at the party. It's been going on for a while. I can with a bunch of friends and we're just partying down, dancing on the tables. That's how you come to comedy. All right, so, hey, so what do you want to do today? So I turn my light on and I 
have that extra something. It's not fake. You don't fake anything you do in acting. You make it real. So my actor's prep is to get my energy up so I am having fun. All right, and in fact, if I'm filming something and it's supposed to be a funny, goofy kind of scene, I'll be goofing around with people as they're counting the speed up on the camera. I'll just be having a lot of fun, woohoo, having fun. And then when they, they turn the camera on, hey, I'm ready to go. So make sure you get your energy up and you have energy. That brings me to another really great tip on comedy. If you're not getting your laughs, if your scene is going in the toilet, I can guarantee part of the reason is because you are not up to speed. By that I mean comedy has a little clip to it usually. Although there are certainly places where we milk it and do a bunch of shtick and stuff like that instead of talking. If you keep in mind this one simple rule given to me by one of my great mentors when I was a young person, when in doubt, if your comedy scene is going in the toilet, pick up your cues. Pick up your cues. Uh, normally you might say, I'm going to say my line and then you say yours. I'm going to say my line and then you say yours. In comedy, if you are not getting your laughs, try to put a little energy into it by almost overlapping. Think of overlapping your cues. Remember, it's I'm going to say mine and you're going to say yours. I'm going to say mine and you're going to say yours. This is comedy. I say mine, you say yours. I say mine, you say yours. I say mine, you say yours. So now you kind of add a little pop to it. You pick up the speed, plus you don't ever want the audience to actually catch up to you and find out that you're not funny. So you keep moving ahead of them. Don't ever slow down enough that they catch up to you. I'm sorry, I just got the urge to go cross arms for a sec. Once you get all the, the technique and the shtick and the timing, then you gotta do it, once you do it with everything else that you do as a performer, you have to set it free. You have to just decide to go to the magic zone and not care if it doesn't happen. Just like set it free. See who you're playing with right in front of you, and just like any other good acting scene, stay in the moment with them. Put it down. Come on, come on. Put up your dukes over here. I'll mess with you. And play. That's where any kind of magic happens, is that moment where it's all spontaneous. Yes, my shtick is going to happen. Yes, I say my lines. But I'm just going to have fun. I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, you move in front of me. You are my target. I am going to play with you. So. Most important thing I tell you of all, have fun. If you're having fun, trust me, I'll have fun watching you. Oh, and one last thing. If you're doing an audition tape and it's supposed to be funny and you're supposed to exit, make sure you do one more face before you go. So if you say, hey, exit stage left. Exit stage left.